Hey guys, nothing quite like sitting down to do a vlog to realize. I mean, I know those TV cables are ugly, but man, they look super duper ugly in this video. Probably because I'm like at a different angle. I have the um, ottoman thing for my bed that because I'm recording a giveaway or doing a giveaway video and anyways I figured I would just sit on it so I'm a little lower than laundry basket um, okay so what I wanted to talk about really quick was this trip I have coming up so I shared with you guys my packing video I packed so far in advance I still have like two days <laughs> and I um, shared that video like three days ago so I packed really far ahead of time I don't really know why well I wanted to do the videos I didn't want it to be rushed I had just gone shopping so I was really excited to like make outfits and play with all my clothes and things like that um, anyways I wanted to talk about this actual trip because I have had a lot of people say wait a minute you're going there like what are you doing and I figured I would share that so let me see here he sent me oh here's our here is our itinerary so they're actually he's actually there right now with the son I feel like I have to yell over the birds I don't they I swear to you guys they do not chirp all day it is the moment I sit down and I start talking they're like let's communicate um, so he and his oldest son are there right now and I'm going to meet up with them so basically what it is is he is he's part of two different cricket clubs here in the US and last year when we went to Canada we were with one um, with the more of the northern cricket club that he is a part of and then this is more of a southern one and um, we are going on a tour a cricket tour with that club so the way that works is it's like a it's a two and a half week deal I couldn't I, I mean I really couldn't be gone for that long so um, we had to buy it as a package deal so we had and I'm like well I don't want to go the whole thing so we had like an an extra hotel room for half of the trip so he's actually able it was really cool to take his oldest son um, and do that so what the reason it was such a big deal to be able to take him is because he's in all these incredibly difficult AP classes for being just a junior and somehow he managed to make it up the first few weeks of school and just props to him so he is um, he's there now and they are not there now and I will kind of we'll have like a day of overlap and then he's got to come back home for school and then I'm flying out so anyways that's that's this that's what this is so we are going the the whole tour itself has this kind of like in a great great regions of England I'm so excited um, I will get to see I'm missing Bath I'm so sad <laughs> I'm missing Bath but um, I will get to see we are gonna be the Cotswolds I can't I probably am saying all this wrong and I'm so sorry um, Devon Oxford and then we're gonna um, spend a couple of days in London specifically we'll be in Cheltenham and Barnstable. Did I say those right? I may have totally botched those. So Cheltenham is part of the Cotswolds, right? And then Devon is um, Barnstable. So we are going to be in that region. Um, I'm actually going to bail on him one of the days because he and his son tomorrow are going to go see Stonehenge. And I'm like, no, 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 like, I have to see this. I am not going to be this close and miss out on it. So I am, I'm renting a car. This is, those birds. This is going to be super interesting. So I am renting a car. I'm going to land in Heathrow, rent a car, and drive it to Barnstable. I might die. I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a, I feel like I'm being very brave because I, first of all, only ridden on the left side of the road. I've never... I can't say never because I don't remember been in a car where the steering wheel like all of the steering stuff is on the right side of the car so this would be really interesting and like okay so manuals are really like kind of actually getting to be difficult to buy here fine buy whatever I love driving I love driving a manual car I feel like you're actually driving thankfully <laughs> because renting an automatic like wasn't really an option um, in, in some of the cases and maybe because I, I we booked the car just a couple days ago but it wasn't even an option and everywhere I read said it costs like four to ten times more than driving a manual so it's gonna be really interesting shifting with my my left hand I feel like I've done it before like if I was maybe taking a drink and shifting but that's like cross the body I know that sounds horrible and dangerous but we'll see it's been a year the last time I drove a stick was in Texas um, because Megan has 
um, this wonderful old car that's a manual and I'll drive it whenever I'm there. So luckily my skills are, I mean, it, a year and I'm going to be completely backwards. So yeah. Um, anyways, that, so one of the days that he's playing, I am going to, I'm going to leave him and I'm going to go and see Stonehenge. So I hear though it might be a major disappointment. Is that true? I would love to know. Um, okay. So that is what what we're doing and we're going to basically just be visiting a whole bunch of different cricket clubs and I love I mean I love the local guys I do I cannot wait to see I mean I don't know if the clubs are going to be as like quirky and fun and gosh I don't even know um if it's going to be kind of like the same or if it's going to be completely different if the etiquette's the same I have no idea. I've never, I've never actually seen cricket in another country. I mean, we watch it all the time, <laughs> but I have no idea. I don't know. Um, so anyways, that's what the trip is and that's what it's going to be all about. And that's why, I mean, it's, it, it, it really snuck up on us quick. We have two, two big trips planned this year and that was England and over kind of like Christmas time, Australia. So that one, Australia one, is like a like a real like just us vacation. Whereas this is like a big group. I'm looking really forward to it. His parents are gonna meet up with us at one point and spend a couple days with us, which will be amazing. Um, it's just gonna be awesome. So that's the trip. That's what I've been sharing all the packing stuff for. I am currently in uh, jet lag prevention which is why I can look like I do. I woke up at two o'clock this morning, <laughs> like a crazy person. It wasn't entirely my fault. I was planning on waking up at 4.30, however, or four. I cannot remember, I should, it went off, but I don't, I just dismissed it. Um, Drake woke me up at two and I laid in bed for a while and I couldn't fall back asleep. So finally I was like, that's it, I'm just gonna get up. I mean, it's already 10 o'clock in the morning in England, like I should get up. So I got up and it was dark for a really long time, but luckily I got a lot done. <laughs> So, um, I'll do that again tomorrow. So I'm going to get to bed as early as possible tonight. Um, you know, I can only go to bed so early with the kids, so it's as early as I can get them to bed. And then I'll be up early again tomorrow so that hopefully when I get in, and the reason that this is so important to me, this is the first time I've like prepared like this for jet lag, but the reason why it's so important is because I am landing at seven o'clock in the morning and I am driving for what, three and a half fish hours. So... Um, I want to be, I want to be alert. It's already going to be interesting. <laughs> so, um, that's my plan. When he first left, I was staying up till like one, one thirty, two o'clock in the morning working and then like kind of playing during the day, like the day I went shopping. And now I, um, I'm like, I can't, I can't keep doing this. Like I am wrong direction. Like I need to go. I'm heading east, not west. So anyways, that's it. That's that's the whole get down on what we're doing. Um, I'm going to record a video too really quick on Drake starting kindergarten because my baby's in kindergarten now. So I'm going to record that. You guys will probably see it tomorrow. And um, I will be recording the trip as I can. I don't know what all I'll be recording. I feel like I get so boring, but maybe I can get him to do something because it's fun when he participates. So we'll see. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.